Wow, and after I said we've been getting a ton of physical releases that it's really hard to keep up with, now this happens. <sighs> well, that's a bummer. Greetings, fellow Vita fans. This is James with PS Vita at 2 a.m., and once again, I'm coming at you with another exciting video. An excitingly bad news video, if there is such a thing. First of all, I'd just like to say please excuse the kind of crude gameplay footage that I'm showing now. Usually, I prefer to capture gameplay footage of me playing an import game whenever I do these sort of topic titles, but I had barely heard about this news, so I didn't have time to capture any kind of gameplay footage for this. So we're just gonna have to go with the trailer. And on that note, yep, it's time for a serious topic. I hate doing these kind of videos, but they gotta be done sometimes. I guess as you can see from this Twitter post here, yeah, it's not really looking very good for limited run games. It seems that Josh Fairhurst, the founder of limited run games, didn't exactly come with us with some great news. It seems that, well, if you guys remember a while back I did that video saying that Vita cartridges might be running low, which I'll have a link in the description to in case you might have missed it. It looks like that has officially been confirmed. Unfortunately, I really wish I was wrong about that. This is what Josh had to say on Twitter. Having to do something I hate doing today. Our remaining Vita cartridge allotment with Sony is far lower than we expected. We are being forced to put a pretty large swath of releases over 10 on hold unless another publisher gives us some of their allotment. Basically, in a nutshell, that is saying that Limited Run Games doesn't have enough physical Vita carts left to do all of the releases that they wanted to do. And at the time I'm making this video, it doesn't look like they're going to have enough to continue their future releases. At least over 10 of them, according to Josh. Ah, man. That's really, really a huge bummer, especially for us Vita collectors, I'm sure. We're pretty much feeling the pain with this one. What's especially worrisome is that from what I've been hearing from poking around on the comments and Twitter, it seems that all of these publishers are basically getting the Vita carts from the same source. I was always under the impression that Limited Run Games had however many Vita carts locked down for them, and so on and so forth with the other companies too, but from what I've been kind of hearing now, it looks like they might be grabbing all of these Vita carts at a free-for-all. Meaning that now that NIS America has announced that they have three games, that just leaves less for everybody else, and vice versa. Now again, nobody quote me on that, it's just a theory that I have. And what's even more concerning is that let's pretend that these games do in fact get cancelled, just imagine how small of a stock the rest of the games are gonna have in the future. <laughs> I shudder to think about it. Okay, so now I'm trying to ask myself, what do I personally think? At least when it comes to the positive side of this situation. Yeah, I'm really hoping that something could be done about this. Um, I don't know, do other publishers even have many Vita carts left themselves? It kind of begs the question. Um, maybe uh, NIS America could possibly give out some of their games that they're going to be having for the last three physical games that they're going to be releasing in North America. Other than that, I'm thinking... <laughs> Gosh, I can't even think of any other companies that would have carts available, at least not Western carts. I mean, in Japan and Asia, yeah, the Vita is still safe over there, but I'm not 100% sure they can get carts that are Asian, i.e. from another region. There's just not a real cohesive way of doing it. I think there's a lot of legal issues with a matter like that. And I'm trying to think of some way they can kind of turn this around. I mean, there is other options. Yeah, they could try to hopefully maybe get other publishers to give some of their Vita carts away, but man, it's so limited as it is, I don't think they can do that. Or rightfully saying they could, I just don't think they would. And another option, and this would be like a last alternative, is that whatever Games Limited Run does have in the pipeline ready for us, that could be potentially cancelled, I wonder if there's a way that maybe East Asia Soft and Play Asia could get a hold of those titles and at least maybe give us Asian English releases of them? I mean, they could make as many carts as they want over in Japan and Asia still, so that would be another alternative. Very similar to what Project Sense is doing. I mean, they didn't have enough time to get the game ready for a physical release over here in the West, so they just decided to ask East Asia Soft and make it an Asian English release, and yeah, that perfectly works. Not to mention on the plus side of them doing that, uh, the titles would be way less sought after because a lot of collectors aren't into Asian English releases. Which means more stock for us, guys. Pretty much though, that's the only three alternatives I could see them doing is one, either another publisher does give them some cards, two, they would make them Asian English releases, or three, which is the worst of the alternatives, they just completely get cancelled for a physical release. Okay, so I have to do a quick little edit here. Upon further inspection, I look down at Josh's tweet further, and things get a little bit more scary. 
and it seems that somebody has already suggested about them using Asian carts, which Josh has replied, If Asia had unlimited Vita carts left, we wouldn't be limited right now, as we could just pull more from Asia for our remaining titles. All Vita carts were manufactured in Asia anyways. I believe each region is drawing from the same dwindling supply. He further goes on to say, that said, I'm pretty sure Asia has the biggest allowance of the remaining Vita carts, so they probably have enough for new releases in 2019. I just do not believe that they have unlimited quantities so we couldn't simply shift projects over to Asia. So wow, even Asia might be running low? Yikes. And on that same vein, another kind of question arises. If Limited Run is not only fighting for Vita carts against Western publishers, but also from Asian publishers as well, and they're all getting them from the same dwindling supply, could that mean that Sony already has plans for a full discontinuation of Vita carts worldwide? It kind of begs the question. Now again, this is all just speculation, but if any of this does turn out to be true, I don't know. Despite everything though, man, I think that still would be their best option. Other than that though, yeah, that's the only way I could see them actually being able to turn this around. But what do you guys think about this? Maybe you have some ideas, you know, maybe Limited Run Games is watching this video. Leave your suggestions down below. Maybe they might read them and we might actually be able to kind of brainstorm on how to get more carts to them. We'd love to hear your ideas, everyone. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by Adam Thury and all of the wonderfully generous people over at Patreon. I have a number of special perks available for backers, so if you're interested in supporting the show, check the link down in the description below. Hey, that rhymed!